So today I'm going to show you how to make this little mixed media birdhouse. So it's painted, it's stamped, it's gilded and it's coupaged. It's rather cute. So for this tutorial today, you're going to need a little wooden house. You can buy at the works or the range, places like that. Some little wooden shapes. These are just from a Christmas pack. Got a little bird there. And a shovel. Again, you can buy these in any good craft store. A couple of paint brushes, one for detail, one for the bigger bits. Some acrylic paint. I like these metallics, it gives a lovely finish and the deco art ones are really nice. This one's in peacock pearl, this one's in shimmering silver. Some deco patch tissue to kind of match your colours and some gilding foil. You can get these in silver, copper, bronze, gold and it's just very, very thin sheets of foil. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the house and the little figures there. So I'll come back when that's all painted and we'll go from there. Okay, so our house is nice and painted now. I've given it two coats, so it's got a nice metallic sheen to it. Um, this paint, it takes no time at all to dry, so you'll be able to find once you've finished one side, you can come back and recoat the second side. And I've painted all little bits and pieces as well. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Fetch the house back. And the next part we're going to do is the decoupage. And for this, I'm using a decoupage, that's the brand name, decoupage paper. I like their papers, they're really nice and bright and colourful and they don't bleed. Um, and you also need some PVA glue. I've got Mod Podge here, but regular PVA is fine and a little bit cheaper. So what you need to do is we're going to rip this tissue into little tiny pieces, probably about that, no bigger than that certainly, and we're going to lay them face up on your, on your mat in front of you. You don't need too many, it's better just to rip a few up and then you can come back and rip some more up later if you need some more. Okay. And we're just going to patch a few pieces in. So we're going to put a little bit of glue where you want the piece to be. So see, just like that. Then you go down with your brush and you pick up your piece of decoupage paper. You take it into your area. You just hold it for a couple of seconds till it's stuck and then you glue over it. Simple as that. So go and put a few more on. You can bend them round corners. So one, two, take it round. Put some on the roof there, take it round like that. One, two. And your hand shouldn't get messy at all if you can just stick to using your brush. So I'll put a few more of these on and we'll come back for the next step. So here we are. I've patched in little pieces of decoupage paper all over. You can still see the white glue, but don't worry about that because it will disappear as it dries. And you don't have to wait for it to be perfectly dry to continue the next stage, which is the gilding stage. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a little bit of glue and where you want your gild to be, you're just going to pop a little bit of glue on and then you take your gilding foil. Now this is tissue thin and blows away if you sneeze. So try not to sneeze or get it stuck to your fingers or anything because it really is a pain in the backside. And you're just going to dab it on and you're going to just leave it like that hanging off in certain areas because we're going to come back to it. So... Again, a little bit on there. We'll put a little bit on there. Just wherever you want a little bit of sparkle. And you can go in with the full sheet, dab, 
pull. It's easier to rip bits off. Dab it. Dab it. As you can see, it's all sticking to my fingers. I don't have to pull off the excess just yet, so we'll do that later. So I'll just continue to finish this off and we'll come back when that's dry. So now I've got my decker patch done, I've got my gilding done. Um, and because there's a few gaps, I'm going to add another element to it, I think. So I'm going to take some stamping ink and a little stamp with a dragonfly on. And we're going to just stamp that in some of the bare parts. And it doesn't matter if it catches all over or you just get a glimpse of it. It can look really cool. Because you can move this stamp about on the block to get to get a better stamp going. Now just fill in some of the gaps. That's quite cute. Because it doesn't matter if you overlap some of the pieces you've already got because that makes it look even better. And we'll come back when that's stamped and I'm going to give it a final coat of Mod Podge. So the stamping's done. It's filled in some of the gaps. Looks quite cool. I've also stamped the little accent pieces as well. Not so much that you can see but just because it adds some kind of uniformity to the design. And now I'm going to give it a final coat of Mod Podge and stick these pieces on at the same time. This is just to bring it all together, strengthen it all up. While we're here in this area, just stick that piece in place. Gosh, I'm so sluttery. That was because I've got a wet brush, but that will dry off. Just get that in place. Put these other little pieces in place. I think I'll put um, a little spade down there. And my little bird will just go on the roof there. Just like that. Okay, we'll come back when this is dry and have a good look. 